Welcome to our Tech Insights video. Today, we're tackling a performance issue that many data analysts encounter. Our viewer is asking about enhancing the performance of a ranking function by replacing lambda expressions with vectorization. Let's break down the question. Our viewer has a ranking function that processes millions of rows across multiple columns and it's taking several minutes to run. They've made some progress by simplifying their code, but they still need to retain their logic while speeding things up. The main concerns are how to replace the lambda function with a faster vectorized approach, how to efficiently loop over multi-index data frames, and what other strategies can be employed to enhance performance. Additionally, they are curious about the differences between using pd.qcut and df.rank for handling ties. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To enhance the performance of your ranking function, we can replace the lambda function with a vectorized approach. This will significantly reduce the execution time. Next, let's address how to loop over multi-index group data frames efficiently. Instead of using apply, we can use group by and aggregate functions. Now, to speed up the ranking logic further, consider using temporary columns for intermediate calculations. This can help reduce the overhead of repeated calculations. Lastly, let's discuss the differences between pd.qcut and df.rank. While both can handle ties, pdqcut is often faster for large datasets because it bins data into quantiles. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In this solution, the user proposes enhancing ranking performance by using NumPy for vectorization instead of traditional methods. They define a function that sorts and ranks data efficiently within groups using Pandas. The ranking function utilizes NumPy's argsort to determine the order of elements, allowing for quick sorting and ranking. This method reduces computation time significantly. The user also explores using Numba for just-in-time compilation to further speed up the ranking process, demonstrating how to handle group offsets and cumulative counts efficiently. Finally, timing tests show a dramatic improvement in performance, with the number optimized function running significantly faster than the original group by approach. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. This user recommends a new ranking function that is three times faster and clearer than the previous one. They provide a code snippet for the rank function. For single-threaded applications, they suggest using group by and apply to rank the data. This is straightforward, but may be slower.
for multiple threaded applications, they introduce a multi-processing approach to speed up the ranking process significantly. I hope that video helped get through to the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a great one. Cheers.